all of these together weigh, you know, not much more than one of my 12 volt batteries. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna make these go in. They don't really fit though. So, what do we want to do? Loosen up the uh, connections between the batteries and just try to get them in there, see if maybe they will bend. Can bend those. They will bend, so yeah, let's do that. This is fun. All right. No, bend and flex. <laughs> Well, you want okay. You want to flip them, flip yeah. them now. Don't touch anything metal. We're wearing our insulated gloves, right? How much clearance you got there? Yours do? <laughs> well, that one did. Is this box square? Come on. What was that? Did that. Yeah, kind of. Need even. Oh, cool. Just. I mean, some of the some of the kit is very well thought out and very well put together. Yeah, I, I mean, think. that plate just goes in exactly the way it should. A couple little screws right through the end. That makes sense. It's nice and solid. Yeah, so basically it's a nice piece that holds the batteries down, but it also has spacers that match up with the spaces between the cells. Mm. So it spaces them apart properly, too. There's a bolt here that goes straight down the middle. And then on the ends, there's bolts holding the bar to the outside of the box. Yep. That's pretty decent. That looks good. That's pretty straightforward. Well, what we could do is put it like some closed cell foam between the bar and the cells. I think that wouldn't be a bad idea. At and least to clamp them down. Some more. Yeah. Just any sort of a thin layer. Okay, this is going to be a little bit more interesting for turning them. We want to... Well, nothing's conductive on the back side, so... I'm hitting the nut on the very far, and... Mm, yeah, it's not going to work. That technique is not going to work as well for these. Okay, Tim, I gotta get going, so we're gonna stop our video at this point. But basically, we got the box in, we got all the batteries in, we just gotta tighten down those terminals, put the, uh, the battery cables between every fourth cell, and Tim, you gotta run that, uh, kind of that phone line up to the front of the car. Yep, there's a switch to turn the whole system on and off, and it has to, uh, tap into a, a signal for from the car's ECU itself, just so that it knows when the car's high voltage pack is ready to go. It won't engage itself until then. Okay, and then we still need the plug for the charger, which uh, there's the charger right down on the end here is where the plug goes in, and um, right now are you just going to temporarily hook that up? Yeah. Maybe just charge with the hatch open or yeah. something like that? I'll just that. run the extension cord right through the hatch or okay. something like that. Okay. And you'll post the photos, and we'll see you next time for more video. Yep. The one last thing we just laid in the other bar here, um, which has the battery balancers on there, so those just need to get plugged in. Just a little quick connector, plug in, uh, bolt the bar down, make sure all the battery terminals are snug down nice and tight, and we're most of the way there. And this only took us, what, four hours, including lunch? 
Yeah. And a lot of messing around.